evaluate cos 45 degrees, sin 60 degrees, tan 30 degrees and cos 0 degree without using a calculator. To figure out these values without using a calculator, we can think about two special right triangles. The first triangle we should think about is a 30, 60, 90 degree right triangle and the other triangle is 45, 45 and 90 degree triangle. And what is so special about these triangles you ask? Well, these triangles they show up a lot in geometry and trigonometry and we know the ratio of sides of these triangle. So let me get two triangles having these angles in them. So the ratio between the sides of a 30, 60, 90 triangle is 1 is to root 3 is to 2. This means if the side opposite to the 30 degree is 1 unit, the side opposite to the 60 degrees would be root 3 units and the side opposite to 90 degrees would be 2 units long. And for a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, the ratio of the sides is 1 is to 1 is to root 2. Meaning if the side opposite to 45 degree angle is 1 units, then the side opposite to the other 45 degree will also be 1 units. And the side opposite to the 90 degree angle or the hypotenuse would be square root of 2 units. And now how did we get these ratios you ask? You can go ahead and watch Sal's videos in this lesson to understand this in detail. But for a quick recap, let's look at our triangles over here. So let's take a look at our 30, 60, 90 triangle. We can imagine it to be a part of an equilateral triangle ABC like this. As you can see each angle is 60 degrees, so ABC is an equilateral triangle and AD is the perpendicular bisector of side BC. Now as we have an equilateral triangle, each side would also be equal. So if AB is X units, AC would also be X units and BC would also be X units. But as AD divides BC into two equal halves, we can say length of BD would be X by 2 and DC would also be X by 2 units. And if we apply Pythagoras theorem in our triangle ADC or triangle ABD over here, we can find the length of AD which would come out to be under root 3 by 2 of x. Now you can go ahead and find the ratio between the sides opposite to 30 degree angle, 60 degree angle and the 90 degree angle. And this ratio always will be 1 is to root 3 is to root 2. So moving on to our 45, 45, 90 triangle, because this is an isosceles triangle, so the sides opposite to the equal angles will also be equal. So if the length of this side is y, this side would also be y. Now using Pythagoras theorem, we can calculate the length of this side to be under root 2y. So as we can see, the ratio between these three sides comes out to be 1 is to 1 is to root 2. Coming back to our problem over here, not just these ratios, but let's figure out all the trigonometric ratios related to these angles. I have already laid out a table for you. I'll just dim this a little bit more. So let's start with theta equals to 30 degrees and figure out each of these ratios. We'll deal with 0 and 90 degrees towards the end. So we have 30 degrees over here in this triangle. The side opposite to the right angle is always the hypotenuse or the longest side of our triangle. Now with respect to 30 degrees, this side is our adjacent side as 30 degrees is sitting on this side and the side opposite to 30 degrees is this side. This is my opposite side. So let's also write down the ratio of these sides which is 1 is to root 3 is to 2. So now let's talk about our ratios over here. So sine 30 degree. Sine of any angle is the ratio between the opposite and the hypotenuse. So over here if the opposite side is 1 unit long, the hypotenuse is 2 units long. So the ratio between the opposite and the hypotenuse is always 1 by 2. So sine 30 degree is 1 by 2. Now cos theta is the ratio between the adjacent and the hypotenuse. And for theta equals to 30 degrees, if the adjacent side is root 3 units long, then the hypotenuse would be 2 units long. So cos 30 degrees would be under root 3 by 2. Similarly, tan theta would be opposite upon adjacent, which is 1 is to root 3 
or 1 by root 3. Now, cosec theta is the reciprocal of sine theta or hypotenuse upon opposite which would be 2 by 1. Sec theta would be the reciprocal of cos theta and you can also figure it out from our triangle over here. So, this would be hypotenuse upon adjacent which is 2 by root 3. So, this would be 2 by root 3 and cot theta would be adjacent upon opposite. So, adjacent is root 3 and opposite is 1. So, this would be root 3 by 1 or I can simply write it as root 3. Now, let's talk about theta equals to 45 degrees. So, for this, we'll need a 45-45-90 triangle. And over here, you can take either of these angles. It wouldn't matter because the ratio of these two sides will always be equal as these two sides are always equal. So, the side opposite to my right angle over here is the hypotenuse. This is my hypotenuse. And if I take this angle, then this side is the adjacent side. And the side opposite to this is this one. This is my opposite side. And so the ratio between these sides is always 1 is to 1 is to root 2. So let's figure out sine theta, which is opposite by hypotenuse. And if this is 1 units, the hypotenuse is always root 2 units. So sine 45 degrees is 1 by root 2. Similarly, cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse. So if adjacent is 1 units, hypotenuse is again root 2 units. So cos theta is also 1 by root 2 units. Tan theta is the ratio of the opposite and the adjacent sides. And as we saw, these two side lengths are equal. So the ratio between these two sides is 1. So I can say tan theta is 1 by 1 or I can simply write it as 1. Cosecant of theta is the opposite of sine theta. So I can directly reciprocate this number and write it as root 2 by 1 or I can simply write it as root 2. And you can also see this from our triangle over here. Secant theta would be the reciprocal of cosine theta or the ratio between the hypotenuse and the adjacent which again is root 2 by 1 or root 2. And cot theta is the reciprocal of tan theta or the ratio between the adjacent and the opposite side which is again 1. So moving on to theta equals to 60 degrees, we have 60 degrees in our 30, 60, 90 triangle. So with respect to the 60 degree angle, this is our adjacent side and the side opposite to this is this one. This is my opposite side and this is the hypotenuse. So sine theta would be opposite upon hypotenuse which is root 3 by 2. So sine 60 degree is root 3 by 2. Cos theta is adjacent upon hypotenuse which is 1 by 2. So this is 1 by 2. Tan theta is opposite upon adjacent which is root 3 by 1 or I can simply write it as root 3. Cosec theta is the reciprocal of sine theta or the ratio of the hypotenuse upon the opposite which is 2 by root 3. 2 by root 3. Secant theta is hypotenuse upon adjacent which is 2 by 1. I'll simply write this as 2. You can also look secant theta as the reciprocal of cosine theta which is the reciprocal of 1 by 2 which would be 2. Cot theta is the ratio of the adjacent upon the opposite which is 1 by root 3. You can also see it as the reciprocal of tan theta. So this is 1 by root 3. I think we had a lot to learn in this video. So let's take up theta equals to 0 and 90 degree in the next video.